it's something that happens in real life every day. In this case, it's a training drill, one that highlights a very real health crisis, heart attack. Too many times people don't recognize what's happening. They're going to know is they're having chest pain. They're having shortness of breath for no reason. They can't stop sweating. They're nauseous. Their left arm hurts. Um, their neck or jaw hurt. But first responders are ready for them, and so is Gulf Coast Medical Center. Together, they're using advanced equipment to speed treatment. Part of our new technology is to take the patient who's having chest pain, we're going to do EKGs on them. We can transmit the EKG straight to the hospital. These situations call for a very carefully orchestrated series of events. The American Heart Association calls it 90 minutes from door to balloon time. EMS can transmit the EKGs directly to the emergency room prior to the patient getting here so we can get the uh, cath lab uh, manned and ready to go and have the cardiologist standing by. That should knock off another eight to nine minutes. So we're looking to get this down below 60 minutes. After leaving the ER, patients are prepped for treatment. Most of the time, a major blood vessel is closed. When the artery is down and the patient's hurting a lot, even more important than his pain is the ongoing damage to the heart muscle because the artery is closed. And that is why time is very important and we call it time is muscle. Enter the balloon or angioplasty. It's threaded via catheter to open the clogged artery. The combo of technology and teamwork is shrinking time and lowering the risk of death and damage. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.